how do you get to where you're making $100,000 a year selling PNC, okay? Maybe you can't get there your first year. Maybe you can, you know, heck, I don't know. But let's just look at those numbers and think, okay, and let's just say that the average home, let's just say that for a household, let's just say you sell one household, and I'm gonna go across averages. I'm gonna think about like Oklahoma, Missouri, New York, California. I'm gonna kind of merge some of these numbers, so stay with me, okay? Let's just say that a, um, Lauren, what do we pay for our house insurance every year? 1400 a year? Perfect, okay? So you got a house, okay? Now these are real live numbers, as you can see, okay? 1400 bucks, what about for cars? Do you have a clue? We have three cars. Well, you're close enough, whatever. We're using it now, it's too late. 2300 for a house? What? I don't know. It's okay, 2400, okay? Way to go, Lauren. You're messing up my, messing up my show, okay? 2400, we're going with it, okay? If it's off, it's Lauren's fault, okay? You can blame her, okay? You need to know your numbers, that's right. Numbers don't lie, okay? Cars, let's think about cars. Let's think about, so an average, house, average household, Let's just say you have two cars, okay? Obviously, there's three policies there. And let's just say that we pay about, um, I'm gonna look across the whole year, okay? I realize a lot of people pay semi-annually for vehicles, I'm with you, right? I'm actually going to train a PNC office tomorrow um, for two days. I'm gonna be in Oklahoma, if you're in Oklahoma. Uh, let's look at, let's just say um, 1,200 a year for two cars, okay? Does that sound close, babe? Yeah, she has no idea. She, what, you, you don't either, so we're good, okay? So let's just say that, um, let's just say it's 3,600 per year, per household, and let's just say that, let's just, I'm gonna use 10% commission, just because 10% is pretty conservative. I know some people that are making 14, 50% when they sell whole house insurance, okay? Maybe less with cars. I'm gonna use this as a general average, okay? I'm not saying, I'm not, I didn't say everything was gonna be perfect, okay? The numbers don't lie, but I may. Okay, and that's okay, all right? So 360 bucks in commission, that's, that's like 30 bucks a month. Across the whole year, $360, okay? So let's take that 100K divided by 360 bucks, okay? And this is all extremely on the fly. Babe, can you pull out your calculator? $100,000 divided by 360 bucks. We're looking at 250, 250 policy. 277. So you need 277 average households based on this crazy, sporadic, extremely random math. Okay, 277 households, all right? So take that divided by 52 weeks, okay? And you really, you need about, uh, what is that babe? 277 divided by 52, it's just over five, okay? Well, my math's 5.34, okay? So you need 5.34 households per week. So you literally, literally need one of these per week, or per, per day, okay, per day. One of these per day, okay? So what we're doing some math, it's fine. What we're doing some math with a PNC office out in Oklahoma right now is they need, they need Based on all their money, they need to, to, to bring in enough revenue for their office. Several staff cover all the payroll, everything else, right? They need, this is real, this is real math, okay? They need 60, they need to write 60 policies per month. My first coaching call, we figured this out, okay? That's three per day. And I said, well, what happens? So, so I'm gonna use cold calling, for example, because anybody can cold call. I can go to your office right now, jump on a phone and cold call and get home and auto quotes, right? Even though I don't sell home and auto insurance, that's not the point, right? And let's just say that three a day, okay? So we did some math and we figured out is, they need, they close, they close about 20%, okay? Independents can close, close higher, captives can close lower, that's pretty average, that's pretty consistent, okay? So that is, they need to give 15 quotes per day, okay? Supposedly, supposedly when they make 100 calls, they end up with about three quotes, okay? So to get to 15, you just need to take this times five. So they need to make 500 calls per day 
and right now they're typically not making 100. So you're never going to write 60 if you don't figure out your numbers and put in the work. All right. So this is, if you want to make some money in PNC selling home and, home and auto insurance, there's more millionaires in this inter in the international world. It's, it's probably the most lucrative and fastest way to make 100K, but it ain't easy. Okay. So if that's just you, use these numbers, know your numbers, and go make some money. All right, bro. Hey, appreciate it, buddy. Hey, thank you so much, Sean. I really enjoyed it, man. I, make sure you check out the video. I'm fixing, I'm fixing to do a video on diagnose our call, too. So. You got it. We're going to throw it up on YouTube, man. Appreciate it. That's right. Hey, thank you, Sean. Appreciate you, buddy. Good luck. Bye. All right, I just got the phone with a guy, Sean Graham, out in Cali, and he's a PNC agent. He watches our channel, he follows everything we do, and he wanted me to break, we just spent an hour on the phone together breaking down the PNC business. I've had more experience with the PNC business than people realize. But what he said was, he said, hey, Cody, he said, hey, my target is 53000 per month. He said, hey, 53,000 per month, and then I will make $100,000 plus per year as a PNC agent. I mean, the dude knew his numbers pretty well, but we have to dive even further, because you guys know me, I'm like, dang dude, okay, so what do we have to do to do this and that and that? Okay, so I said, okay, so what does that look like? Well, if you break it down, when he writes a home, in California, it's worth about 700 bucks on average. When he writes an auto in California, it's worth about 2,400 bucks, okay? So the two of those, that's about $3,100. When he writes a, when he combines those, okay, and writes home and auto in one, in one sitting on one family, his commission if he, if he does a combined policy, it's 17.5%, okay? So when he does that, he just realizes that he needs to do, it was literally, he needs to do that, when you divide it from this, he needs to write a one home and one auto 17 times per month. Okay, if you look at 20 business days, that's almost every single day. So how do we get to where he's writing one home and one auto? My handwriting is almost perfect today too, if you haven't noticed. One home and one auto, auto every single day. How do we do that? I said, okay, well dude, what's your closing ratio? What, do you, what, what, what generally happens? He said, right now I'm getting back in the swing of things. He said, I'm at about... He said, I'm at about um, 9%. He said, I'm at about 9% close um, when I get a quote, you know, when I get someone that allows me to quote them. And then he can take it a step further. He said, okay. I said, okay. Well, he said, he said it needs to be about like, like 10, 11, 12%. He said, and it will get there. He said, right now I'm at about a 9%. I said, perfect. Thanks for being honest, transparent. So what he needs to do, all this guy needs to do to make $100,000 per year is what he needs to quote to get a full hundred percent closings where he closes a policy he needs to quote 11 per day so he so what he needs is he needs 11 quotes every single day how do you get to 11 quotes and the way we broke it down was every time that he knocks 50 doors he ends up with about four quotes, okay? Every time that he calls and speaks, because he uses Zen call, every time he calls and speaks to a hundred people, he ends up with six quotes. This was a little more efficient for him because this takes him about two to three hours. That's okay, Sean, what you need to do, bro, is you need, you need to speak on the phone to 200 people per day. Now, can he still follow up? Can he still write business? Can he still service his own clients and all that? If he is spending four to six hours per day on the phone? Well, maybe not. 
So what he does is he's already got other expenses in his agency where he's spending money. So what you do is in his example, I said, dude, could you hypothetically, could you, because you guys know I love that word, could you train someone to make calls like you do part time? He's already spending a couple hundred bucks a month on random crap anyway. Could you get to where you could train someone to get to talk to 100 people a day and get you four, five, six quotes? He's like, yeah, you know, I could do the script. I could walk through it. Okay. So if he hired someone part time and they worked, let's just say that they worked like three hours a day, five days a week. You're you're only at you're only at 15 hours. You can pay someone like 10 bucks an hour, and he, he he's out of pocket a week, like 150 measly dollars. I mean, dude, that's a really good steak. Maybe a couple steaks, but you know you see where I'm going. It's not a lot of money. It's not a ton. I, I've never bought a 150 dollar steak, but dude, we need to someday. 150 bucks, part time for the whole week. And that 150 bucks, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta break down the numbers. You gotta know the numbers. You gotta understand this. What happens is they talk to 100 people. This part-time person is generating him six quotes per day, 30 quotes per week. And if he still spends, if he still spends the additional three hours on his own also calling and they call at the same time so they're hearing him call he's got he's got social proof he's showing them what to do how to do it they're learning from him he's leading by example he's at 60 quotes per week and how many did he need he needed 55 a week 11 per day to make over a hundred grand with all the math that he gave me this is none of my math I simply asked questions. He gave me math. I said, dude, that's 55 quotes a week. You and a part-time person, only additional 150 bucks, is 60 quotes a week. Break that down, though. Break that down. So, Because uh, literally, what that is, though, that person's doing 150, 150 quotes. He's paying them $150. That part-time person is generating him $5 quotes. All day, every day, five dollar quotes. Hey, five bucks, I get to quote somebody. Like, what PNC agent wouldn't exchange that? He's in California. He's never going to run out of people to call. So, at the end of the day, it's numbers. It's just putting forth the work, figuring it out. That's what we do a lot of consultations. I love doing retreats and trainings and going to offices and helping agents and talking through stuff. I got a guy that's a part of one of our mentorship programs. We talk a couple times a month. I and mean, there's all these different things we're doing. But in the, the day, for an agent to succeed, all you have to do, guess what? You've got to have a target. What is your target? Break that target down into weekly and daily. And then what do you need to do every single day to smash that target? Most people have no clue. To accomplish it, you've got to be in the know. You've got to know what you need to do every single day to freaking crush it and hit that target. So my challenge to you, I don't care if you're in PNC, life and health, final expense, Medicare, doesn't freaking matter. You can make 100 grand, everyone in the country can. It's all about knowing what the target is and then what do you need to do every single day to freaking smash it. I've helped a few PNC agents along the way and if I can help any more as you watch this, dude, let me know. This dude's going to make 100K in 2019, all because he knows his numbers. He's going to have to spend a little bit of money. He's going to have to invest. But, dude, most PNC agents are doing like a handful of freaking quotes a week or maybe a month. You know, writing a, writing a measly eight, four, eight policies. I mean, it's a joke. PNC agents are freaking lazy. Who wouldn't like to do about, about 3,000 quotes a year? just by knowing what to do. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Hey, I'm Cody Askins and I'm gonna share with you today how to earn $10,000 weekly as a life insurance agent, okay? So one of the things I want you to think through is typically 
A lot of interest agents fail. 92% fail. We're going to walk through the numbers. I'm talking appointment. I'm talking leads. 